that morning something in the core of my being got transformed the way i feel about my work the way i think about my work the way i want to hold myself to certain values certain character standards service standards everything everything changed on that day those days i used to go every morning to marina beach to jog so i finished from lighthouse to that labor statues there i finished that and i was walking back and there was one huge bush absolutely plush green one solitary flower was there so in this green background one solitary flower white in color looked brilliant and in that early morning breeze the leaves were dancing a little this flower was also dancing it looked nice i stood there and i was looking at it do flowers talk to you if you go and tell a psychologist flowers talk to me they will tell you we will check you up okay but you are looking for a message the more and more you grow in life you'll realize growth is caught it's not taught a scene in the movie can change your life a paragraph in the book will change your life somewhere just observing an incident that is happening between two people on the road can change your life a paragraph in a song can change your life just the lyrics of that song can change your life somewhere i was looking at that flower and i felt the flower was telling me blooming is my nature i didn't bloom for your sake it's my nature whether you had come in this morning or you didn't come this morning whether you had noticed me or you didn't notice me whether you admired me or you did not admire me i would have still bloom this morning spreading fragrance is my nature whether you enjoy my fragrance you don't enjoy my fragrance whether you appreciate my fragrance you don't appreciate my fragrance whether your type your taste for you know the fragrance is not mine it really doesn't make a difference to me to bloom is my nature to dance in the wind is my nature to spread fragrance is my nature you noticing me is an accident me blooming is an incident i was only planning to walk back when i started jogging again so much about my life changed on that day there was no teacher there but the student was ready i told myself you have to hold yourself to certain standards because you should make it your nature you cannot decide the standards of your life based on others they are in your coming late why should i go on time for you there is a standard whether others are coming late or not to conquer the clock is a wonderful arrogance to have the clock doesn't defeat me i defeat the clock every time you should hold yourself to certain standards and live up to those standards only one person is there in the program 17 people are there in the program 100 are there in the program thousands are there in the program how you teach should not depend on your audience namakku na nadu namakku na or standard whether it's a customer who is going to buy big or a customer who is going to buy small namakku na or standard whether you are chairman of an organization for you and your driver and your servant my respect when i relate with people will exactly be the same because it doesn't have to do with you people have to be respected in fact one of the manifestation of human evolution is your ability to respect a fellow human being that he is a human being not his designation not the status and that flower taught me that it said i didn't bloom because you will come i bloom because it's my nature boss sees me i will do one type of work boss does not see me i will do another type of work in front of the teacher i love one behavior behind the teacher i love another behavior with my friends i will behave differently when i come home i'll behave differently then there is no standards for you the flower is telling me i have a standard for myself and i will live up to only that standard i will not my life changed that morning something in the core of my being got transformed the way i feel about my work the way i think about my work the way i want to hold myself to certain values certain character standards service standards everything everything changed on that day because you tell yourself 
It's, it has nothing to do with others. I want to set certain standards for myself and I want to live up to that standard and I wish my standards are higher than the standards of expectations that the world has towards me. When, that, when you reach that stage where the standard of expectation you have from yourself is higher than the standard of expectations. To infinity is I tell them. Mahatriya, if you are coming to our dukan, please let us know. I will be there. Why? No, we can give you good service. The day you can give the service that you give to Mahatriya to all your customers, you will not ask me this question, how to take the business to the next level. You will not ask me this question. Because you never know which customer is big. You never know which customer will become big. A lot of one-time transaction will go on to become one of your biggest customers at some stage. Now you should have certain standards of customer service. It has nothing to depend on the customer. Every time when somebody tells me, if you are coming, please let us know that we want to be there. The way you want to relate to Mahatreya, ensure that that is how you are able to relate to everybody. You should have certain standards for yourself, whether it's customer service, whether it's your value system, whether it's your behavior, whether it's your character traits, whether it's your performance. You should have certain standards for yourself and it cannot depend on others. standard And that day in that flower, the whole thing changed. Why I'm saying this is, we never know the right input I use the word knowledge, the right knowledge at the right time. When I say right time, you should be in the right frame of mind to absorb. In the right environment has to come. We never know when that moment is. The same message, why did it have an impact on one of you and did not have an impact on the other? Knowledge is the same. You are not ready for it, somebody was ready for it. Why is that something you hear for the fifth time and this time it makes an impact? This time you are ready to absorb it. This time you are in the right environment. Earlier it did not have an impact. Lot of things in life. You never know when it hits you. You have heard it and 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 you know it. But it's not a part of your life. But sometimes it comes and hits you. And having seen so much of life, one thing I am convinced, you need that little grace. To, for all this to come together, you need that hand above your head, you need that existential grace, that you are in the right frame of mind, you are ready to absorb, you are ready to, and it's, when I am saying ready to absorb, when I am saying you should be in the right frame of mind, it also has to do with when you are ready for ambitions in life, when you are ready to put your life into the next level, when you have right now challenged yourself with new goals. Those of you who have accepted status quo in life, I will study like this only. I can perform like this only. Um, I am like this only. Uh, anyhow, what? Everybody is there like that, me only. So, it's so, so those of you who don't have an ambitious goal, those of you who are not ready to take your life to the next level, those of you who are not ready to shift yourself into a different orbit of living, you are not ready for it. But somewhere, your desires have upgraded, your goals have been reset, you are there on the threshold of ambition. Some way you have told yourself, this is not how I am going to live my life anymore. This is how I am going to live my life anymore. You are ready for it. In your mind, you have imagined a future. And right now in the present, you don't have that competence or that clarity or that direction of thinking or that maturity to go. So there is this level of restlessness where I have suddenly told myself, I am not a 25,000 rupee per, uh, per month person. I think... I'm setting my target. Next year onwards, I'm going to earn 1 lakh per month. You've set your mind. But right now, you feel with my qualification or this thing, everybody is only getting so much. So how am I going to shift from here? So there is an element of rest. You are ready. That time, somewhere a scene in the movie. A conversation that's happening between two people. So somewhere this need to upgrade my life from where it is to another level. Spiritually, financially, in terms of character, in terms of behavior. Somewhere when that readiness is there in you and there is this restlessness where from an ordinary future I have set my eyes on an extraordinary... You made that decision but you don't know how to reach there. You are ready for it. Something happens in that session and you feel... A lot of adults have said this. You exactly gave me what I was looking for. You were ready. So the teacher appeared. 
I have been giving exactly what you require every time. You didn't think it was for you. So you told the one sitting next to you, Tera message. Tere liye bol raha hai. Papa, this is about you. Mama, this is about you. Oh, this message is for God, actually, not for me. Okay. But when you are ready, you feel, I think that was your message.